Hello everybody, my name is Julia Park. I'm a uh, class of 2005. It has been seven years since I graduated. Uh, time flies. After graduation, I worked for several companies as an organizational consultant. And now I'm back to school again for my PhD program in organizational study at Iwha Women's University here in Seoul, Korea. Looking back, when I applied for LOC, I worked for uh, General Electric for seven years as a change management, and I feel like I wanted to enrich my knowledge about change management and uh, wanted to be an expert in the, in the field. So what attracted me to be a loc -er? I think I attracted by LOC in two ways. First is um, the name itself, learning and organizational change. I always believe that the best way to change people is through learning. And as you, everybody knows that from the name of our program, we put a lot, a lot of like a focus on the learning to change people and organizational culture. So that is one way. The other one is very attractive things for me is a practicum and capstone project. Through the practicum and capstone project, you can apply what you learn from school to actual business context. So that way you really you know, learn practical knowledge about business and change management. And actually during my school days, I had a chance to work for several companies, for example, Grant Thornton and Motorola as, as my practicum and capstone project. As I remember, there are three components of LOC learning lens. And bottom is the theories, and middle is method, and the top is outcome. So actually, the, throughout the whole class and program, I had a chance to practice all three components together. You know, when you think about something, what is a theory behind, and then you think about what can be the right method for it. And then, you know, finally you think what kind of outcome you wanted to get through those methods. So compare myself before LOC in, in business context, I always more think about the method and outcome, which is more and how and what question. But after LOC, I put a lot of thinking in how, why question, which is, you know, whenever I do something, you know, I always ask myself, what is the theory behind? So that is a big like contribution of uh, LOC Learning Lens to my work afterward. Different from other course, uh, LOC has a wide ra uh, range of students. So it allow me to learn not only from faculty members, but also from my, my colleagues. For example, when I was there, Several of my colleagues was very experienced consultant. So when I do a when I did a practicum project with them, I had a chance to learn from them a lot. Another LOC unique uh, environment is LOC has very warm and family-like environment. And when I was there, I made a when I was there, you know, at the time, actually, I had my newborn baby, Brandon. So every afternoon, I made a regular trip to LOC office to say hello to Terry and people in there. I want to say hello to all my friends who were there in LOC from 2003 to 2005. Hello, Jenny, Terry, Ellie, and I want to say hello, Beth, Leslie, Ed, Jeff, Jill, I believe she is in Switzerland right now, and Laura, Mark, Wendy, and 
Cecilia who is in Hong Kong right now and also want to say hello to Emily so I believe that you are all in good and using your knowledge lens to make our place a better world